Good morning. I'm Brian Reagan, and this is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler as we speak in halted and stilted tones like professional newscasters. And today we examine Proverbs 11, verse 23, Tyler. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. All right, so <clears throat> on a more serious note, the Word of God. Um, the desire of the righteous, it does end in good. Uh, because ultimately, where does the desire of the righteous take them? Into the presence of God. Where does the expectation of the wicked take them? To damnation. Uh, but even in this life, 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9, Tyler, if you grab that. People have a uh, have adopted a wrong belief about the second coming of Jesus Christ or about the return of Jesus. Um, that they have this weird idea about wrath and punishment. Go ahead and read me 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 9, Tyler. And to give you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who do not know God, and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. All right. Now, listen to what he's saying there. There's when Jesus comes and he lets his angels loose on those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the wrath. Then, after the wrath, then comes eternal damnation. Don't lose that those two are both there. The children of God, when Jesus returns, will be taken up to be with him in the clouds, to be with him in the air. The children of God will not go through the wrath of God at that time. The wrath of God is poured out on all flesh. That's their punishment of their deeds in this body, in this life. Then comes eternal damnation. And so the wicked, when the that old saying, you know, uh, the wicked never rest or the wicked have no rest. Yeah, that's, it's not because they're up late at night doing wicked schemes and they can't catch a good nap. No, it's when they die, they go straight into torments. If they're alive when Jesus returns, they start torment right then with wrath, and then they go into eternal hell. So, uh, some other thoughts on this one, my brother? All right. So, I was hoping you'd say, yes. And the point that I, we should make is we should probably stick with righteousness because righteousness ends only in good. So uh, go with the righteous path. If you're on the wicked path, stop, change, and get on track. Uh, Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. And we bid you good morning from Lake Butler, Florida.